Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to round five and the final round here for FNM at Nerd Rage Gaming. I'm your host, Andrew Donnelly. With me, as always, my co-host, Matthew Robert Dow. And you asked for it. You got it, Matt. We got Patriot Missile here Jeez. in the finals. Three times in a row. We got the two undefeateds battling for FNM champion here. This is it. So, red-white aggro versus Patriot Missile. And uh, I think I like uh, Patriot Missile here. Pretty sure Tommy's playing uh, the Jeskai Splash here uh, so that he has a little bit of an edge uh, against the red-white aggro deck. So, gets to play sweet cards like Manus Rider and then Treasure Cruise going along. Not 100% sure he's playing Treasure Cruise, but a possibility here. Really, we're just hoping to see that that Alex makes these uh, triggers, right? We don't want yeah. him to. Uh, <laughs> right. We don't want him to continue missing. I guess I should probably fix the game record here for. Uh, yeah, Alex hasn't people. won yet. Alex has not won yet. I don't think he's going to win. I think Patriot Missile is going to. Uh, hey, Patriot Missile has definitely uh, win this one. Definitely shown its power after uh, playing through what? After playing through almost a uh, forehand. Was that a? Four? Yeah, mulligan to four. Yeah, jeez. Alex going to mulligan. Tommy has Evolving Wild, so like we can never mulligan that hand, right? Uh, nope, Tommy going to keep. Uh, can we possibly queue up uh, the Hulk Hogan theme song, I Am a Real American, <laughs> uh, if Tommy wins this match? <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I think that's copyrighted, so... Yeah, yeah, our stream would get muted. Dang. That's we we have to be careful about the copyright music. Yeah. Uh, c is it cool if I sing it? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I'll join in. All right. <laughs> so, you might have that one to look forward to. Andrew and I <laughs> singing. We'll pull up the lyrics. We, do you want you want me to pull up the lyrics and we can sing it? Well, uh, Tommy has to win <laughs> first. <laughs> what we would need, though, is we need a camera on us waving the flag. Yeah, right. The flag. Yeah. Like, that's, that's huge. So, uh, Alex is on the play here. Going to play a uh, turn one mountain. And Tommy, going to play a Mystic Monastery, like a true American. Uh, Alex, <laughs> no two drop this time. Just going to pass it back. Looks like he's got a Hordling Outburst and a Chain to the Rocks. So Tommy, no two drop either. Going to ship it back to Alex. Going to lead off with a Hordling Outburst. So, uh, of note, drew a Rabble Master. Yeah. Neglected to play it into open mana. So good play by Alex. Tommy has a Lightning Strike at the front of his hand. So... Not going to go in for damage there. I imagine he's going to jam one of these Mantis Riders and get in. So we got Alex at 19. Tommy going to take a damage off Mantis Rider. Yep. Crash in for 3. Put him to 16. Looks like we have a, a gentleman wearing a dress shirt uh, is our spotter there. That may be, that may be our own. Uh, Energy's own Norman Cohen oh, man. as a spotter for uh, today's finals. Got it all going on in the finals here. Now it's going to take a pain off of his Battlefield Forge and chain to the rocks this Manus Rider. It's a good play. It's fine. Attack Tommy for three. Put him at 16. I think you got to. I mean, you can't... Uh, time and time again, that Manus Rider has proven to be just a super good threat. Yeah, especially Tommy got another one in his hand. So, Card has been pretty good tonight. Oh, Patriot Missile. Not a, not a UWR Heroic deck. This is, in fact, a, a Jeskai Aggro deck that yeah. fires off these bad boys. The Patriot Missile. That That's the Patriot Missile that you're viewing right there. Uh, Tommy just swinging in for three. Oh, Alex going to untap. Draw a card. He really needs a removal spell for this uh, Mana Strider. Boy, this is going to be... doesn't look like he has one, but he does got? have a Rebel Master. That's pretty good. So, yeah, it's all right. He's going to attack in for three. One of his goblins is going to die. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to twelve. Twelve all. I this like has got to be the magic you like. I this, mean, this is, is great, fast man. pace fast, creatures, man. spells. There's not even. First of all, I haven't seen one type of blue draw spell or a blue counter magic, which is making me nervous because I, no, I prefer to play those cards. I like those cards too, but I mean, I'm all for this. Like, just bash them. Trade haymakers. I like that. I. The, when was was double mana slider last round? That was brutal. Yeah, it was last round. Tommy's going to untap, untap here. here. Probably going to chain to... Oh, another Whoa. Manus Rider. <laughs> What's Jeez. happening? We can, can we chain? We can chain yeah. here and get the Manus Rider on board. Yep. Chain your dude. Boom. Probably cast the Manus Rider. Manus Rider. Take a damage. It's cool. 
put you at 11, or Tommy goes at 11, Alex, Alex is uh, at six. 6, and I'm pretty sure he's just dead. Does he have an answer to he these needs, things? He needs an out. He needs, a kill, he needs a removal spell, or he's just dead. What do you... Yeah, chain to the rocks, stoke the flames, lightning strike, that won't do it. Gonna scry. Man, I'll tell you what we need. We need we need a missile sound effect for these Manus riders. We do. Like I a, can make one. Like <laughs> That was it. Patriot baby. missile. <laughs> Patriot missile takes it. Takes a quick game one. Oh off, man! On the back of three Manus riders. You can't ask. First of all, if you're just tuning in now, the matches that Patriot missile gets played in are quick matches. Oh, Patriot yeah. missile does not screw around. No, Manus rider does not mess around, man. Bees. And for a card that people were, like, really upset about because they're like, oh, this card dies to lightning strike, and oh, I'm so mad at, like, <laughs> the card does work. If they don't have a lightning strike or they don't have removal, the card's going to town on Yeah, them. And, and it usually still, like, gets in and, like, does three damage since it has haste. Haste is such a good mechanic. So is Vigilance. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. And Flying God, the card's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's got it all, baby. <laughs> it's, got, it's got everything. Uh, all right, so let's move on to the sideboards here. Uh, Alex Pressig. Uh, red, white, aggro. Are these the common colors of uh, of uh, Soviet Russia? I believe they are. Oh my God! Could this be could this be Soviet <laughs> Alex Pressing? Yeah. We have comrade Alex Pressing <laughs> uh, playing red, white, aggro against uh, oh geez against American the, hero Tommy. American hero Tommy. Do we missile. even need their records? Like, I think I we need to up? change this to uh, comrade aggro uh, or something like comrade that. Comrade aggro. <laughs> Russian aggro. Sickle and hammer. Yeah. So Alex Resnick has uh, two lightning, two arc lightnings, a uh, storm breath dragon, uh, two hushwing Gris, two end hostilities, two glare of heresies, an erase, two elspeths, two brimaz, and uh, one valorous stance. All right. Uh, cards, cards I like uh, would be glare of heresy, uh, storm breath dragon. I think is pretty good. Arc lightning's not bad. Uh, although, once again, I don't think Kami has cast a hordling outburst at all. I haven't seen one. Uh, but. Arc Lightning is a way to, I guess, remove another out to Manus Rider. Yep. It's also pretty good against, uh, like, B R Rival Master if Tommy keeps those in, but I imagine he'll board them out. Uh, Brimaz isn't bad. Elspeth also a consideration, as is End Hostilities. Uh, yeah, it just has to decide really what, what cards are bad, but I think for sure going to bring in some Glare of Heresies and uh, the Stormbreath Dragon. Uh, Elspeth may be a little bit too slow for uh, Patriot Missile. Likes to get out of the gate pretty fast and put you under pressure. So, Manus Rider also gets around Elspeth. So. That's true. Yeah, very true. As for Tommy, he has three Anger of the Gods, two Brimaz of his own, a Chandra Pyromaster, three Disdainful Strokes, two Glare of Heresies, a Negate, a Sarkin, a uh, Treasure Cruise, and a Valorous Stance. Uh, so, we like the Brimaz here. I, I mean, do like the, Brimaz. The Brimaz is always, yeah. it's a classic. Yeah, game. I mean, that card is just nuts. Yeah. I might even just play it main deck because it seems so good. I've brought it in now in every matchup. Um... So, other cards. Glare of Heresy is a card I am on the fence about. Always about bringing in against these red-white decks. I think that now that I, I've seen it, like, knowing Alex's deck list, uh, and the fact that he has multiple Monastery Mentors, I probably bring those in. Against the normal red-white deck that doesn't play that card, I don't know if it's really that great. Uh, but two might be fine. I wouldn't bring in, like, a playset or anything. Sure. That seems too, too much. They don't have that many white threats. Um... Although I'm always speaking from the heroic side, where like if I blow up a chain to the rocks with glare of heresy, I, I get like a one-two back, and it's awful. <laughs> uh, Sarkin I think is pretty good yep. uh, as a removal spell, and also just like a late game threat. Uh, Chandra is probably pretty, pretty decent, um, and I think I think I actually going to bring an anger of the gods too, knowing knowing In what Alex is playing. Yeah. Sure. Uh, just because he has. Eight three drops that uh, have two toughness or left that make one ones. So okay, uh, yeah, a nice way to I, a nice way to that. like uh, you know get back in the game if we're behind. Um, so uh, yeah, and I can uh, try to like take a picture of Tommy's uh, uh, deck after the match here and then put it up on my Twitter, which is oh, yeah. uh, at at uh, vote underscore Nader. Uh, we'll throw it up at the end of the stream uh, if you uh, stay tuned. So. So we're going to get start a game two here. Uh, Comrade Alex is going to be on the play, facing down our American hero, Patriot Missile, Tommy Tomsevic. Although, to be fair, Tommy Tomsevic sounds like a, a Russian name. <laughs> it it kind of does. Yeah, so turn one planes for Alex, and then uh, Evolving Wilds for Tommy. 
And there's a there's the turn one play. Secret turn two play, secret of the way. Tommy is gonna crack this evolving wilds and uh, get a planes. So Alex tapping his fingers like he's counting or something. Gonna pass the turn back to Tommy. Let's see if Tommy has a answer for this seeker of the way or if he's just going to choose to ignore it. I I think I I think I I mean does yeah. that seem right? No, I think that seems right. From what I've seen, uh the cards that matter uh are like <laughs> Rabble Masters and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Uh, this card matters. Uh, that's a card that matters. Yeah. Apparently, we have the phonetic spelling of. Comrade. Oh, that's the yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the, uh, <laughs> you're 100 percent correct <laughs> uh, up there for Alex Presick. So we need uh, that. Rimes, pretty good. Tommy really, Tommy really could use a, a like a glare of heresy here. So that Bramaz is super strong. But oh well. So here's my problem again with anger of the gods. As we were talking to Tommy Cyborg, that's a card that just dodges it, right? Sure. But still, he's only playing, uh, you know, two of them. Right. So. Alex is just going to stoke Tommy in the face. So, Russia on the offensive. Soviet Union on the offensive. He's slow. So, Crushing. Tommy now down to 14? America is down in trouble. Seven. Holy cow. Not good. No, and that looks like it's a disdainful stroke, so that card doesn't do anything. Maybe we can kill Brimaz if we have a stoke the flames and a land. Which, he has a stoke, so... We're, so not, we're not completely dead, but... All right. There's part part one of the puzzle. I mean, the problem there is you're letting... Yeah. Like, like I don't Alex know if I really like this. Show him. Yeah, because he's he got a stoke in his hand, I think. So. Untap, kill you. Yeah. Uh, let's see. He's got another Brimaz. Nope. So, so we're going to attack him for three. Put him to four. Show him a stoke the flames. Yeah, you're dead. All right. Oh, well. So. Uh, <laughs> boy. Quick magic here tonight. If you're uh, rooting for the Soviet Union... You're, we're tied up here. This is this is crazy. Claws back into it, man. This feels like the Cold War all over again. You know what this feels like? This feels like Rocky. It this does. Is, this, this is. This does feel like this Rocky. This is it. This is the Rocky fight right it's here. Trading haymakers. Oh man. Those were two haymaker games. Uh, do you think Alex just? Look, do you, I will break you. Is that what he said? Yeah. In between matches, he just. That, that's what he said before this. He's like, look, you got round one. Not gonna happen again. You gotta be careful, man. You're going up against that red white aggro. Alright, we'll see if Sylvester Stallone can crawl back into this one. Tommy Thompson, baby, crawl out of the dirt. <laughs> Eye of the tiger. Hey, nothing's going, gonna hit harder than life. Going back to the drawing board. <laughs> going uh, back to the drawing board. <laughs> looks like he's taking out his disdainful strokes. Probably looking to get a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, I can't imagine disdainful stroke is a real good card here. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine it's very good either. What are you gonna hit? Stoke? Yeah, Stoke. Storm Breath? Yeah. Sarkin? Yeah, okay. but still. But 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 I'm dead before that. So, right. <laughs> yeah, you get. I I think that's a card that is. I don't know. I don't know if I'm playing that. Yeah, I think here I'm just gonna try to be as aggressive as possible. So Murica here, gonna gotta come back for the uh, the two one <laughs> against old comrade Alex Presig. Yep. Oh jeez. I feel like the Russian flag is at, like the Soviet Union flag is actually like. The sickle and hammer is like yellow and red, but I believe we'll it make an exception. It's all right. I mean, it can be whatever. Right? Planes are yellow. Planes are kind of yellow. Yeah, they're for sure yellow. They're definitely yellow. Oh yeah, definitely. Why is white a color? Yellow should be a color. Uh, that probably look gross. Let's talk to Mark Rosewater about it. It looked like it looked like gold bordered cards, but like old gold bordered cards, not the newer ones. It looked like Legends gold bordered cards, Ugh. which was an awful coloring. I mean, just yeah. not a good coloring. Yeah. Oh man. No, Murica, you gotta focus up. I need Manus Riders, baby. I want Manus Riders coming in like they're F 17s <laughs> off of a carrier. The Patriot Missile can't win without Manus Riders. It can't. It needs those Manus Riders. Those Manus Riders are so good. And we're not even kidding. Like, honestly. Yeah, they've been great. They have been really good tonight. <laughs> the card is very good. If unanswered, the card goes wild. Yeah, and if you drop them in multiples, it's literally insane. It's like bees. Yeah. Like, just bees you can't get rid of. <laughs> just a ton of bees. I imagine you have a fear of bees. I'm actually okay with bees. Oh, okay, cool. Spiders? Uh, it depends. Are they poisonous? Well, like, I think all spiders are somewhat poisonous. Really? Yeah, like, that's what I think the... Do they all I, contain some sort of toxin? I, yeah, it's, I think they all contain a venom. In, in that, that's how they kill their prey. Interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, I guess I'm okay with some spiders. Know. <laughs> but there's an evolving wilds. It's a place where spiders. Chemistry major live. here, not a biology major. Yeah, that's but, true. So, 
Yo, Komodo dragons are poisonous, though. Yeah, I know. That's scary. <laughs> Those things are killing machines. <laughs> We got a little <laughs> off topic here, but sorry about that. Tommy with the turn one evolving wild is going to fetch out a, a planes again, hopefully for him and uh, all you American fans. Uh, that USA. he has a, a little bit better game. No, so why are they the still in jokes. there? I don't. Uh, going to be a turn two play from him. Okay, uh, see. If Alex one. has wild slash here, nope, going to be good. Howdy, pilgrim. So, America on the board first. I like it. Especially with Seeker, the way. Uh, okay, so Alex is... He has a choice here. He yeah, can he, drop beating. a Scryland, or just drop a straight-up Plains yeah. Chain to the Rocks? Yeah, he's just going to chain. Really? That can be dangerous, because if we get a Manus Rider, can we... Oh, we're going to get a Manus Rider. You better oh, believe come it. come on. Yeah, there's is a he, Manus it's in the Rider hand. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Ooh, Red-White is also for Canada. Yeah, but Canada is our na neighbor Yeah, Canada's friend. nice. I'm not... That's not a good match. Like, Canada America is not a good matchup. Comrade, Comrade Alex Pressig is a good matchup. Yeah. Though. Slam that Manus Rider. Slam it. Boom, right off the carrier. <laughs> Tagging in for three, putting him to 17. God, I love it. This is like the Ooh. battle of the Got century. Got an arc lightning, though. That's so He's going to be able to take care of this Patriot missile. Yep. Maybe he doesn't play it. No, that's the right play. Uh, Alex looks like he has a handful of removal, which is potentially pretty good for him. This might Although, be. Tommy does have a Chandra. Uh, yeah, I was about so to say this. This could actually he, work out. In he Tommy's has a fourth favor. land, which he doesn't he look like he does. does not. Which is just completely unfortunate for him. But that's fine. Like, uh, you know, he's got disdainful stroke and then like wild slashes and stuff. Sure. So here's going to be a two drop or a three drop. That's just going to die to wild slash. Tommy's going to wild slash it. Goodbye. Of note, though, Tommy does need, like, a red source also. And Alex scries and keeps on top. Uh, that's another wild slash. So, going to ship it back. Uh, Hordling Alpers draw for Alex, which is pretty good. I imagine the card he's going to play. Uh, although, that card, not good for us. That's a scary that's card. That's a three drop that doesn't die to wild slash. God, and this is why I don't... Is there is what is there is there no counter target creature spell in this format besides the double blue? No. Nope. Hubris, right? Yeah, uh, nullify. Or nullify, you're correct. Hubris is the bounce spell. Yep. But Tommy does find his uh fourth land, unfortunately for him it is a uh, Mystic Monastery, so he won't be able to play it untapped. And Burmaz is gonna start to get in there and get some value. Tacking yeah. in for four. Are we going to see the full attack? Yeah, he's just going to get a Cat Soldier. Which I think if mm -hmm. I won an Invitational would be my uh, Invitational token. Oh, uh, really? Cat yeah, Soldier? for sure. I've seen a judge, an SCG judge, yeah. has a Cat Soldier one that looks awesome. The guy, super smart idea. Really? You do Cat Soldier too? Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Uh, you should do, like, Soldier. You'd be no. a good Soldier token. There'd be, like, so many, there's so many Soldiers. I just want to be a Cat Soldier. Cat Soldier? Yeah. Maybe, like, I could, like, send him a picture of my cat. Oh, and know. then he could be, like, your... Like, yeah. on top of your head. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I had a token pick out, and I think it was Tree Folk. Ooh, Tommy got a wild slash of token. Ooh. Seems loose. So, it's only going to drop into 16 after the attack. Yeah. And Alex is going to play a... Ooh, an Alpo Siege. Okay. Yeah, Disdainful Stroke. There nice. we go. So that's the one time... Uh, oh, man, we really need to stoke the flames here. We have one, don't we? Mm, uh, yeah. Oh, we have no, a Shandra. We have Shandra. No, we have a stoke. Oh, yeah. yeah, he just drew the stoke. Okay? No, he didn't. No, maybe he did. drew a lightning right, strike. Maybe he did. He had the stoke. So, Tommy, back in this game. This is it. See, I don't... Uh, I hate using the wild slash there on the, t the one token. He's just so already, loose. I might just start to get into it. Dun, dun, so. dun, dun, oh, dun, we're getting dun. it. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, man. Horling oh. Opera, Seeker of the Way. Those look like good targets for this anger of the gods, gods in my hand. Does he have it? He does. No. He does. Yeah, right here. Boom, anger of the gods. Get, oh, you out. get geez, out of here. Oh, jeez, it's so good. And now he has an open board for Chandra. Alex <laughs> has no more reactionary spells. Oh, uh, Miracle. Uh... Do, 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 do. Another secret of the way, though, for Alex. Okay, but, yeah, what do you care? You're Tommy. You got lightning strike. Boom. You're Tommy. You got lightning strike. Famous <laughs> 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 <Is that>, <laughs> last words. Oh, another Horling Outburst, though. Oh, Tommy has another hanger for the gods. Oh, this game is insane. Oh, jeez. 
Din, I think we just play Chandra and Plusser. I'm totally just playing Chandra and Plusser. Yeah, I mean, right? Chain of the Rocks, he's got it. He's doing it. Here it is. Yep. Yeah. I Plus, like it. Shoot dang. a token, shoot you. Oh, man. Hopefully he doesn't have a Storm Breath Dragon. <laughs> that would stink. Alex goes down to 16. Could Alex top deck a Storm Breath here? That would make he, this he, game He could. He's playing crazier. one, so... No, uh, Alpo Siege. Alpo Siege, pretty good card. It's done, done a lot of work, and I, this card is not going to go away. Tommy no. doesn't have any way to remove it. Uh, so let's see which which is better. The Alpo Siege you can attack... Uh, that also has other abilities, or the Outpost Siege that you can't attack. So, th just to point out there, the correct attack is Alex did not go towards the Chandra, okay. which we've seen a lot of people make the mistake of either going towards an Ashiok or... I might have went... So if I t we attack Chandra down to three, then she pluses? No, that's No, it's a bad, bad. That's a real bad line. Yeah, we need, like... I think there's, like, a point for that. Oh, uh, but right good. now, it's not, not that point. Tommy uh, uses the zero ability on Chandra... So he's going to put that card in exile and then be able to cast it this turn. This will be crazy. This is like dueling. You've got Tommy with the Chandra zero. You've got Alex with Outpost Siege. Yeah. So Tommy going to cast the Seeker and then play a Mystic Monastery and ship the turn back. So he has, f he has another Stoke the Flames up, He right? does, okay. correct. So evolving Alex going to reveal an Evolving Wilds and draw a S Soulfire Grandmaster, I think. Leave that card on top. Uh, interesting that he didn't play his Grandmaster, but I mean, or he didn't play his Evolving Wilds. I'm gonna cast the Grandmaster. And, uh, it looks like he's gonna chain this guy to the rocks. Yeah, Tommy's gonna get some more value out of the Sanger to the Gods. Uh, Tommy gonna go down to twelve though. Tommy gonna fetch uh, another turn, go to eleven. So I imagine Tommy's just uh, Anger of the Gods and Zero Chandra. If he has Anger. I think he does. Yeah, if we have a land here, we have uh, an answer to Stormbreath Dragon. So, I imagine you just have to Zero the Chandra. So Hopefully he, he sequences this correctly and Zeroes, because if he hits like an Anger of the Gods or something... Yeah. Ooh. Ugh, that's a bad one to yeah, hit. Yeah, I don't like that. No, that's unfortunate, especially because Alex Snap kept that card on top of his deck, and I'm uh, I'm afraid it might be one Doctor Stormbreath Dragon. So could we not have gone up on Chandra there? Uh, oh, he kept a we chain. Could've. What? What just happened? Yeah, Alex kept a chain, which that what? seems like Didn't a bad card snap, to reveal. He Snap kept that up yeah. there. Yeah, that's a terrible card to reveal. Yeah, like I, I would have shipped that to the bottom. Oh, is time gonna cruise here? No, no, he did. He has oh, a, he Tommy has an Alpo Siege. Siege. Oh, oh man. man. We're on the three cards. So hold on. This I actually like, because I like the fact that Tommy can play the Alpo Siege, use its zero ability, and begin plussing Chandra. Yeah. Because... Or you can just continue to draw cards every turn. No, hear me out. Okay, I understand. That's that's very good, right? But we have the potential to ult Chandra, hit a Stoke the Flames, and, and almost kill our opponent. Yeah, but we have two Stoke the Flames in hand, and we already cast one, so the chances oh, are Oh, okay, low. okay, yeah, 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 okay, so, so we're counting. Very yeah, true. So Tommy going to exile for Outpost Siege. It's a mountain. Great. And we're going to draw. Going to play the mountain for turn. Uh, probably going to probably gonna plus Chandra here to kill a token. Mm -hmm. um, although there there is an argument, I think, to be made to draw cards. Uh, I actually probably like drawing cards. Do you like drawing cards over the damage, though. Man, you're a guy that likes blue spells, and... I, I, I love drawing cards. Drawing cards, I love, yeah, and but... Yeah, because our Chandra's... Well... Yeah, our Chandra's gonna die here. It's, no, I mean, no, Tommy's we... going to six. <sighs> Alex, just gonna fire all this burn at Tommy's face. So, Tommy in danger of just dying uh, to burn. He needs to find a way to gain some life. Gonna go to three. That is... That's actually scary now. It might be time to, for Tommy to just... Start stoking. Yeah, at least fire one of these stokes at Alex's face. Uh, nope, gonna reveal a glare of heresy. Uh, can hit a chain? Oh, is one of those chained to a seeker? Can we get a seeker back? Yeah, we can. There we go. Yeah, get I mean, some lifelink. Sure. So, oh, man, probably gonna has to plus Chandra here. Doesn't, well, it doesn't have to if he uh, okay. glares and gets a seeker back. Right, we glare, get a seeker back, have stoke mana up, block a goblin token, stoke Alex, gain life. Mm-hmm. 
Tommy is going to do just that and get a Seeker back. Uh, see what he decides to do with Chandra. Oh, man. Yeah, if, uh, if Tommy can fade these uh, two draw steps here by Alex, uh, essentially the exile from Outpost Siege, any burn spell yeah, kills draw. us, except for Wild Slash. We're not dead to Wild Slash, but we listen, need to... Listen here, brother. Uh, we're, no! dead, we're dead to that card. No! Uh, gonna cast Lightning Strike, and... That's it. That is it. Russia. It's the Russia Soviet Union. It. I don't... Did Did they have a song? I don't... No. It's, like, really depressing. We probably. could actually probably play the uh, Soviet Anthem, uh, I, but we will not do so. Yeah, I... Uh, just for my own personal sanity, I yeah. don't think I'm gonna... I'm gonna... But, but Comrade Alex takes it. Yeah. Two to one here in the finals. Yeah, so Tommy had to fade essentially two draw steps in there, there or two two draws uh, in that Alex got to draw exile a card off outpost and each. then still continue yeah, drawing and then and then draw a card for the Jeez. turn. So not technically two draw steps, but still when you have like eight mana, two draw steps. I thought he was going to get out of that too. I I thought that was it. So yeah, I I did too. But Alex just threw a bunch of burn it. Uh, Tommy's face, and as you mentioned, ignoring Chandra there and putting some damage into Tommy that instead was of Chandra to was good enough for for Alex. I, I, and, and once again, that's kind of always something that's very hard, especially for newer players, is they get so intimidated by Planeswalkers, sometimes they just get tunnel vision and, and solely attack that. I mean, even for not new players, we saw Dan Cardenas against Noah Cohen last week continually run creatures into Ashiok, Ashiok when he could have just been killing Noah. Yeah. Like, so you kind of you get in those weird situations. Yeah, definitely. Uh, good play by Alex, especially, you know, knowing, so that, like, as you mentioned before, he's played this deck uh, quite a bit here, and knowing that, like, he can't win by just throwing away damage on Planeswalkers. Yeah. Uh, you know, Tommy can, so it's like the classic, uh, like, like, how does Burn gain card advantage? Mm -hmm. uh, burn gains card advantage by just doing, throwing a bunch of Burn at your face and then leaving you with cards in your hand. Yeah. So that's yep. how it gains the card advantage. Sure. You can have all the cards you want. You're just gonna be dead. You don't get to use the card. Yeah, it's not. Head. It's definitely not a good position to be in. I yeah. and and that's. I don't know if I really like Tommy there with the disdainful strokes as much as I'd like to have probably seen a few more negates. I feel like negate gets us out of uh, some situations that disdainful stroke doesn't. Like negate saves us there against the lightning strike. It does. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it doesn't save us against Stormbreath Dragon, which is a Very hard true. is a hard card in this matchup to deal with. Yeah. Uh, you only your only answer really being stoke the flames, so. Definitely. I guess you can also block with Manus Rider. No, it has protection from white. Correct. God, Patriot Missile. Patriot Missile. Let's get in there. White. I forgot. Yeah, it's, America. It's running it, baby. Yeah. So stoke the flames. You're only out there. But no singing this time. We won't have. No, not this have, time. That's maybe. Maybe next time. Yeah. We'll hopefully get a song, and if Patriot Missile continues, but but we will have in the upcoming weeks. Uh, Team NRG is going to be streaming. So what? Uh, on this Monday, we'll have Mr. Joe Lissette, captain of Team NRG, doing his stream. Uh, followed up on Wednesday by Noah Cohen, uh, and then on Thursday you have Big Old Matt Hoey doing the uh, doing the carry slot, finishing up the week. And well, then you've got us we'll on us, Friday we'll again. Be here on Friday. Yeah, definitely. Well, unless I decide to do something else, then Andrew will be here alone. I I. Uh, that's fine. I'm here sometimes alone. Me and me and Twit. Me and the channel handle it then. All that's right. okay. The I'll, the commentary boosts up. So. I'll probably be here. Let's be honest. Uh, I don't have a life. You don't have a lot to do. No. You have much else to do. No. Not to mention, we had a lot of fun tonight, didn't we? I did have a lot of fun tonight. That finals was stellar. Yeah, we we saw zero control decks. Yep. So no one was bored to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw a bunch of people just like throw haymakers and, like, yeah. play burn spells. We saw some sweet comeback by Alec Presses where, like, he somehow top-decked yeah. it at hostilities to win the game. Definitely. Essentially. Uh, we'll get back in the game. Yeah, it was exciting matches tonight. It was, it was a good night. So, uh, what you guys need to do is you need to make sure that you follow the Twitch channel tonight, and then also head over to YouTube and find us, uh, Nerd Rage Gaming 1 is our YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe there also as the highlights from tonight and all the round footage uh, as well as the possible deck list for Patriot Missile uh, will be up under the finals match. Uh, Matt, like you said, will try to get a picture of the deck tonight and post it up on Twitter. Both of our handles are up there. You're going you're gonna to go take a picture of Tommy's deck and give it to these fine people? Yeah, if he's still here, if he hasn't left in disgust, if he hasn't been shamed out of the building for letting uh, Comrade Alex Pressig destroy him. Definitely. Comrade Alex Pressig taking control of... Uh, of the Cold War situation. Yeah. Just for this weekend, though. We Just don't know. F and M will be. No, it's the Cold different. War, man. It's small, small, small victories. Yeah. yeah. That was. This is like the Cuba. Whatever. Bay of Pigs. Yeah. Right. Yeah.
Yeah, that's I think it. Right. Okay. All right, guys. Well, make sure you tune in next week for FNM. I'll be here. Matt will be here, potentially. Potentially. We'll All see. right.